In the week leader news. Week as in the weekly leader or week as in like not strong? Not strong. <laughs> Perfect. The founder of a popular blog has deleted a post and thrown his employee under the bus after people hated it. That's Ooh, fucked up. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> I like these really? kinds of, I always want companies to do that. It's like, hey, we fucked up at Starbucks, but really, whose fault was it? It's our cashier, Bob. <laughs> that fool's a dick, man. We've been trying to get rid of him. Mm -hmm. I like that. I wish all companies spoke like that. Would you sp speak like that? I don't. Would you spoke like that? Would you spoke like that? <laughs> My crew don't Go fuck sit. up. My crew don't fuck up. I fuck up. Oh, that's a good leader. No, it's yeah. just I'm. They're always catch like cleaning up my shit. <laughs> <laughs> they're always cleaning. It's a true thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. not just you read too deep into yeah. it, man. You read too deep. Yep. <laughs> really surface, bro. <laughs> yeah. So, have you guys heard of the website called Barstool Sports? Yes. No. I have. It's a blog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but is it, is it the pot? They have a podcast. He's swallowing his spit and licking his lips and saying yes at the same time. In a very southern lady voice. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Why I do declare I have. <laughs> it's because they have podcasts. <laughs> I do declare. Oh, that should kill me. Alright, so, <laughs> so. I make up my own expressions. There's this uh, writer there. Or actually, he's not a writer. He's supposed to be the senior director of editorial strategy and growth. Yeah, I don't shut know the fuck what up. What the hell that means? Bullshit, bullshit, reading bullshit, and proofreading. Bullshit. What is it again? That's it. Senior director of editorial strategy and growth. That's how they justify She's not the giving you a, pro a promotion or a raise. They just give you more words in your title. He's the most important Whoa, blogger there. That looks creepy. <laughs> Mm -mm. You know what's hilarious is when uh, a lot of these younger people, they get a job right out of college, right? And they always have the same fucking job, but they always try to make it sound like it's more than it actually is. Yeah. Like, oh, I manage all the new media and I consult the company in new media. I was like, you're the Instagrammer in the company. You shut the fuck up. All right? Don't you dare say that shit to me. Like, what the fuck? You take a picture, you choose a filter. That's yeah. what you do. I work for this uh, startup company where uh, basically I am the uh, media influencer. And uh, so you do the Instagram. Yes. yes. <laughs> the one that kills me too is when the CEO contacts you about this really big company that they have and they want you to be a part of it or whatever and you're like, wait, but you're just like the CEO, like, why are you doing all the grunt work? That's so weird. That's so weird. It's like, just be real, man. Just like, like, I just do the Instagram stuff for now and that's cool. Like, who are you trying to impress, man? It's okay. They're learning. Everyone's learning. What that's the fuck? Who are that's you? That's where they stand. They start in the beginning. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they start in the very beginning and then they, they, they try to look important and then they have a business card that says CEO and they'll be like, hey man, what's your name? Oh, is that what you did? A hundred percent. That's what <laughs> I feel this shit. Uh -huh. I was the guy. We never did that. We made ourselves look like 100%. fools. We had Uncle Sam and Uncle Chin with the American flag on there. I have that card. Dude, I was part of a pyramid scheme, and I said I was part of marketing and promotions. I did too. Really? And then I my, was a network marketer. I didn't even know what a network market me is. Me either. They're like, what kind of marketing you do? The network kind. <laughs> That's what I said. So I, I printed cards with two people shaking hands on it. Oh, nice. And then oh, in yellow tight. font. It's like, like, let's do business. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, it's like two like, people shaking hands. Like, if I could give that advice to people that it's just just don't do that. It makes you look more incompetent. But if you don't do it though, you don't you learn. You don't learn, yeah. You gotta go through the embarrassing times. I was 19. Yeah. And I approached a lot of companies to sell uh, the service as an employee benefit through HR and I was only 19. So they all actually were kind of impressed that I even was approaching them. And I sold some employee benefits. That's tight. But it just didn't, I looked stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Later, I'm like, oh man. Oh man, yeah. that shit was mad at me. Yeah, so this dude with the long ass job title, his name is Chris Spagnuolo, aka Chris Spags. And so. <laughs> yeah, all right. That's a very, Spags. very unattractive name. Spags. Yeah. yeah, so. Call me Spags. Hey, Spags. So he wrote so a blog post. <laughs> he wrote a blog post with the headline that says, is Rihanna going to make being fat the hot new trend? Oh Ooh. no, she's not even fat, fuck no. you. Yeah, a little extra. She look good. 
Oh. I haven't seen her in a long time. I'm wearing her highlight. She did put on a little bit of weight. She's thick. Compared to her normal. So? She's a snack though. But she's always she been She is a skinny. snack. A heavy snack. Hey. <laughs> a heavy lunch. <laughs> she's good. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Own it. Yeah, so a little excerpt of what his blog said. Would you like to read this? Yep. With all the fat acceptance and love me as I am crowd, there's definitely a world where I could see chicks see Rihanna make some strong I don't give a fuck, I just love pizza quote that goes viral and bam, we're in a world where all the hottest girls look like the humans in Wally. -E. What just the? in time for summer too. A world of ladies shaped like the Hindenburg loaded into one piece bathing suits may be on the horizon now that Rihanna is traipsing around out there looking like she's in a sumo suit. <laughs> That is so Spags is a fucking dick. Fucking hilarious and wrong. What a cocksucker, dude. Yeah. One yeah. More sentence. Bags One more sentence. It's a dangerous precedent, and you may want to start adjusting your porn browsing to primarily BBW porn to condition yourself to this dystopian future we now face. He's what? popular with the is fucking BBW women. BBW Joe? Uh huh. Big, Black beautiful oh. women. Yeah, so that was like just a little piece from his. His original blog. He's a loser. And so he ended up tweeting Leo. this out. Because Rihanna got moody. He says, Rihanna fans did not like my blog calling her fat, and now I'm being cyber bullied. And, then, and then these are the screenshots. Oh, shit. Yo, something tells me that you don't have to worry about whether Rihanna or Ashley Graham are attracted to you, dear sir. Oh, Ashley Graham is beautiful. Why nobody likes white men. Okay, well, she didn't have to blanket all yeah. white men. Yeah. You are typical white trash. That was some of the screenshots that he posted in that tweet. Oh, I see. So he was just trying to find racist ones. Yeah. Yeah. Have y'all seen Ashley says, Graham though? She's fine. I don't even know who she is. She's fine. So, and then so he ends up tweeting also this. Thanks, lady. It's just the life in the field. I guarantee 99% of angry tweets didn't read it and made assumptions of the headline. Well, you wrote the headline, didn't you? <laughs> Yeah, uh, and we read the really article bad. and it was really bad. It's pretty bad. That guy's an idiot. So then that blog post obviously received a ton of backlash. And then so they're saying that even like so many people hated this post that even one of the site's own employees tweeted out uh, when the squad finally gets the brand uh, to not be synonymous with sexism and then someone writes this for attention. And then she tweets that the link to that. And then she also tweets. I'd say we should adopt by dipshits for dipshits, but then some faceless basement dweller would put this tweet in a shitty article. Uh, so that was the whole thing there. Basement dweller, I like that. And then the founder, Dave Portnoy, he published a blog. This uh, company has a lot of interesting names. Yeah. <laughs> They're probably from the East Coast or some shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So he was saying, uh, that pr pretty much he was just throwing this employee under the bus saying like he's not worth fighting for that's not a hill I'm gonna die on and like <gasps> let's move on pretty pretty much a hill to die on Steve <laughs> huh because so last time he was here he said that and he oh. educated us on what that meant. I didn't know what that oh, saying meant <laughs> Because Steve always <laughs> uses like that. phrases that we yeah. never hear of like yeah. hey man that's your tissue box to wipe your ass with <laughs> you know, like all right, man, I bet yeah. you that's real shit. That's your chicken leg, run with it. Yep. Like, yeah, we're like, hey. Uh, find a hill to die on. Yeah. Yep. Who knew that in this group? I didn't know Steve. it. I, I, I never it. heard of it. I know yeah. find a hole and crawl in it. Yeah. I know that one, find a hole and crawl in it. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's, that's good. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I know the uh, 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 make like a tree and leave. Whoa. You almost. You almost didn't know it. Well, I was gonna make say make like a, like a banana and and split. Here. That's how oh. I was gonna say. Make like a one. Korean church and split. That's how it is. Make like a deck of cards and shuffle. Oh. Like an wow. American marriage and split. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this uh, founder here, he just people are just pointing out like, wow, you just throw your employee under the bus just because a lot of people didn't like that blog post. Because he, but he's real though, which is kind of cool. Because originally he's saying here that uh, Spags wasn't originally hired to be a personality at Barstool that he should not be writing blogs that the company would end up having to defend and yeah the whole die on a hill thing but he's a senior executive of vice president marketing that sounds blogging. like a pretty high position <laughs> yeah yeah. But I, I don't think that's like throwing your employee under the bus because let's say you That's know, just like disavowing. Yeah, because like let's say Starbucks had an employee that started saying racial slurs Yeah, they'll denounce them too. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's not throwing them under the bus It's like saying that doesn't represent my company, right? I think as an owner you're allowed to say that I think so too I agree with you too because it seems like the the person that wrote this they're very biased against 
bar stool. Like they just uh, don't like bar stool. So. Gotcha. How come the CEO didn't come out and say, "Man, Spags, you stupid." <laughs> just Pretty like much, it seems like. Did, he, did Spags get fired? Uh, or he's just like doing janitor work now? I think. I think they. I, I think they did fire him. Senior janitorial yeah. services yeah. executive. How come he doesn't like Rihanna so much? Trash inspector. I think his article is trying to talk about, or he's expressing his opinions about this body uh, acceptance movement because there's this like gray area where there's people who say like yeah you should love yourself but you can't take away from the fact that we're there's there's health and then there's love you know what i mean and i think he's trying to hit on that topic in a very yeah, disgusting shit point. job at that you know what i'm saying because they, that they didn't come from a place i think of love. you're adding yeah. deeper meaning this guy is horny and now one of his fuck uh icons is ruined and what's fucked Damn. up is he he should i think what he was probably trying to hit was the whole health part of it but just because you're skinny too doesn't mean you're fucking right. healthy either. And he didn't even mention health at all. He just mentioned girls in bikinis being fat now. Well, and that was just like an excerpt of the blog. Oh, I'm not sure okay. what, what the rest of the blog said because they deleted it. Got it. So that was just the part that this specific article that He was like a message to all dudes to update their porn. You know, it's like, yeah, that doesn't <laughs> sound like health. I'm happy that fat ass is in. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah! Thick. Yeah, there's Thick. a comment Two on C's. this. Two C's. Yeah, <laughs> there's a comment on this article where someone says that later, Spags ended up apologizing if anyone was offended, but that his personal animosity toward fat people is because his own father spent years of his life Shut fighting the, the fuck you, fighting the more. Is he 22? I feel like he's like 23, 22, like a young dude. I'm sad because my dad got this sad, like and then my dad died. He better be attractive talking the he shit. He's not that thin himself. Yeah, he's like That's a metrosexual. Looks like the thickness of Rihanna, perhaps. Yeah. He, exactly. It's all the guys that that are not like in shape themselves, or like, why isn't this celebrity in shape anymore? I wanted her to be in shape. Dungeon dweller. <laughs> Dungeon dweller. I like that better than basement dweller.